honestly cannot believe how many people do not brush their locks. Like, what? It is really good for keeping the lint out of your hair and it keeps your locks nice and thick and full and um, you should do it. Brush your gel locks? All right, let's get into it. It cannot always be night. Welcome back to another video at the Burst Universe. Today is a new day. And we got a what? We got a banger. Yes, I can hear you saying it. We got a yeah, banger. Yeah. Okay, I see you. We got a, got a banger. Banger. Let's go. Alright guys, I ran into this TikTok video, TikTok video. Yeah, it's weird, but this person seemed to be doing something weird with their hair. And I said, what? Are you kidding me? So I said, let me try this thing out. And I wanna try if there's any benefit to it or not to see really like somebody in cabin. You know how somebody just do something just to blow off on TikTok or you know, YouTube or anything like that? Yeah, I'm kind of part of that. Yeah, I grew my dreadlock so I can blow up on YouTube, but mainly to inspire you guys. Uh, and then for me to continue my journey, especially starting a new journey ain't easy. So the back of my hair, which I talked about in a different video, so I'm not gonna get into that today. I'm just gonna brush my hair. My hair is looking really curly because I've had a uh, braid. I had a braid like last week and I took it out. And so it's very, very, very curly right now. I like it, you know? It kind of helps me wear it down. It's not as long when it's curly versus when it's just straight. So I'm gonna try to brush my hair and see how that will affect my hair. If it's gonna benefit me, you will know. If it will not, I ain't gonna cap to you. But I hope your guys' journey has been going amazing thus far. Posted something on the Pineapple World Instagram yesterday about sharing your guys' month and journeys. So a lot of people just boom, 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 sharing like their months and their journeys. And so here are some of the clips right here. It's crazy how many people are on the same journey as us. And that's why we created Pineapple World to inspire, educate, and build a community of journey hair journey in general it could be you growing out your hair to just have long hair you know what i mean it doesn't have to be straight up locks it could be anything else around your hair that you're growing to get we are here to hold each other accountable on pineapple world not here pineapple world not pine pineapple world one of the things that i want to see with this video uh is that if it's actually going to benefit my hair uh to start make a video about it every month or so kind of like update you guys if it has helped me tremendously or not but we will see at the end of this video if i'm going to be doing this or if it's just a nonsense feel me and i'm going to prepare right here a white table so that when i brush i know if it's hair falling out or stuff coming out of my hair or anything like that so that we can gauge the benefit of this whole experiment let's get into the video guys I have my brush right here boom and then I was testing out if you guys can see anything I think you guys can see some things here I'm gonna empty some of the brush see that you can't see nothing god dang it um what if follow me and ponder the question What if there was a song that started off like boop, 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 boop. All right guys, I tried to get like a extra help from a light or something like that like a white light But it didn't work out. I'm just gonna brush my hair and tell y'all the result of what happens If y'all end up seeing something Then y'all let me know first. I'm gonna clean out my brush And brushing starts
Now, did it benefit me? Hold on, where am I at? Can y'all see me? Oh, there it is. Now, for the benefit part, I don't know if it benefit me anyway, besides take out my locks, like the frizzy part. I guess it's good if you have like tiny little frizz of your hair, like when you wake up in your bed sheet, you find a lot of small hairs. I guess this is a good way to take it out before going to bed, uh, but I don't even recommend to do that. I would recommend just to get a bonnet or something like that and sleep with it. And when you take a shower or so, let those hair come out then. Brushing your hair, I think is an extra. We, we should leave that to the waivers, you feel me? The waivers community, which I don't hate, I love. But doing this, I don't know if I had any, I saw any benefit. I can see how other people would like it for those that have a little bunch of hairs and their and the locks that they're dealing with a lot of lints type of look to their bed sheets or anything like that or to their clothes they can use this to take that out but as far as full benefit wise it's like it didn't benefit me more than it hurt my dreadlocks and what I mean by that is maybe my my brush is a little strong but it's, it started to make my hair a little frizzier than what it was and so this is not a good method unless maybe you have a softer brush you can avoid that uh, maybe the person that was doing this have a really really soft brush and so that helped them um, make everything smoother I guess in a way I don't know maybe I should look up the benefit of what she's talking about that she had doing this but as far as what I can tell I have more frizz than what I had before so thanks and then the lock community, you know, the frizzy part of our hair, we really don't appreciate in a way. That's when, you know, you're starting out or you're locking your hair up in the beginning. You go through that stage to where it's really frizzy. And, uh, which I didn't kind of go through, to be honest with you. I did crochet needles, so it was an instant lock. Uh, but a lot of people do deal with a lot of frizz, especially if they're in a threes or a twos. So I don't know if this is a good method. Use soft brush if you end up doing this, but I don't see the point really. Really, you gotta weight it, right? Is it, is it beneficial versus pros versus cons? right if it's if it has more con then I wouldn't recommend it so that's that's what I see in this maybe I might change my mind in the future I'm not hating you know it's cool brushing your hair brushing your dreadlocks but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video you guys saw the lints and stuff like that that came out of my hair which kind of should come out it shouldn't be in my hair you know what I mean uh, but at the same time do I want to do this every day no well guys, that's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below. If you haven't subscribed, which I feel like you a hater if you haven't subscribed, because all I talk about is positivity and dreadlock. Who don't want to hear positivity? Don't cap me now. All right, thank you for watching this video though. I appreciate you even if you're not subscribed. That means a lot to me. And here you hitting the like button and commenting. Commenting warms my heart. So whenever you comment, I really read them. And I'm like, wow, these people actually are amazing. And uh, they are listening. So make sure you do that. Till next time, keep acting diverse and creating your universe. I'm Activerse and I'm out. Straight up bangers dropping this week, man. Stay tuned.